The Coots Glorious Stakes is next. It's a one mile four furlong group three. And it's for four yards and at the top we've got Hall Ridge Marchy for Leon Van Rensburg. Petrovna location, David Robertson, Al Manzur, Dan Hughes, Cicero, Craig Beckwith, Seabird, Martin Needham, Storm Murmur, David Robertson, the Grey Gatsby for Dan Hughes and Bella Brandy for Joshua Sutherland. So eight of them then in this one. Ready they go. Away they go. And Seabird on the outside was fast away, so too was the favourite Bella Brandy who's got the rail. And also Cicero. And Cicero looks like he's going to be the one that's going to cut across and get to that rail and lead. So Cicero is then in the lead. From Seabird in second. Petrovna location is next. Then Storm Warmer and Alman Zor with Petrovna location after that one. Horridge Marchy. And I'm looking to the back, the great Gatsby and Bella Brandy are now sharing back spot, but it's Cicero who's gone four lengths clear, and the rest of them are all in a bit of a bunch as they make their way down towards the nine furlong point in this Coots Gloria Stakes, almost like a reserve King George. This the ones that didn't quite make it into the King George in this one, and Cicero is in the lead from Petrovna location in second, and then Seabird is third, Storm One is after that one, and then Al Manzor with Horridge Marchy. Next, and then Bella Brandy with the grey, the grey Gatsby, just the back marker. One inside the final mile now, racing towards the seven furlong mark, and Cicero is clear by four. To Petrovna location in second, then being pushed along on the outside, Storm Murmur, the stable companion to that one. Then Seabird on the inside is next, I'm going to try and get up the rail, is... Um, Al Manzor, Horridge March is making a forward move. Bella Brandy's got traffic problems, and the Greg Gatsby's going to have to go through a wall of horses to get to the lead. They're coming in towards the home turn now, and they're racing down towards the five furlong point. And it's Cicero in the lead, about to be joined maybe by Seabird. Then comes Bella Brandy, who's now got a split and has burst through. Then Petrovna locations after that one. Then Al Manzor got back to Horridge March, and suddenly Cicero is about to be challenged by Bella Brandy and Petrovna location. Seabird is being driven up the inside not the outside comes um, Al Manzor is now coming through for a challenge but they've got three furlongs to go still and Cicero's kicked on again from the front Cicero in the lead from Petrovna location back in second then Al Manzor, Bella Brandy, Seabird on the inside, Horridge Marchy next Storm Murmur and the Great Gatsby look out of it but it's Cicero who's still in the lead, two to go Cicero's in front from Petrovna location and Al Manzor then Bella Brandy and Horridge Marchy, Seabird on the inside then trying to run on again is Storm Murmur they're coming down towards the final furlong then now in the glorious stakes and it's Cicero Cicero's just about to be headed for the first time by Petrovna Location. Petrovna Location takes it up, but now Almanzor swoops and Almanzor takes it up there. Almanzor is in the lead and racing up towards the line. Almanzor's going to take it from Bella Brandy second. Seabird was third, then Petrovna Location and Storm Murmur. Cicero dropped away. And it's Almanzor that took it. Really comfortably in the end. That one's all the winner for Dan Hughes. Bella Brandy second for Joshua Sutherland. Seabird was third for Martin. Then Storm Murmur was fourth for David Robertson. Who also took fifth with Petrovna location.